Will the clerk please call the roll? Eckhart? Here. Adderford? Here. Miller? Here. Valencia? Here. Stelling? Here. Vincent? Fisher? Here. Mountain? Here. Item 4 is discussion and action on the consent agenda. All of the following items which concern reports and items of a routine nature normally approved at city council meetings will be approved by one vote of the council. Any member of the council desiring to discuss an item on the consent agenda may request that it be removed from the consent agenda and placed for discussion as the next item on the regular agenda. It will then be considered separately. The consent agenda consists of a consideration and action on the following items. Item A, approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of August 15, 2016. And item B, approval of claims in the amount of $251,857.36 and payroll expenses of $134,702.10. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. I have a motion by Councilman Miller, second by Dr. Hannaford to approve the consent agenda. Is there any further discussion? Please call the vote. Miller? Yes. Hannaford? Yes. Eckhart? Yes. Alencia? Yes. Fisher? Yes. <coughs> Melton? Yes. Stelling? Yes. Number six, reports from boards and officers. <coughs> Item A is Street and Alley Committee meeting from August 15th, 2016. Councilman Fisher, do you have a report to share? Um, the meeting pretty much consisted of a review of the streets that have been done, where we're at on our, on our plan, and where to move forward on the streets that are uh, going to be completed, hopefully, this year. Thank you. Does the council have any questions for Mr. Fisher? I'd like to I'd make one uh, addition to that. We reported today that... Um, we expect that we are going to finish the uh, paving work on Flynn Street, and then we will finish some paving work on uh, Maple Street to B, from Skyline to B, B Street. Uh, and once we have completed those two streets, we're probably done with the asphalt for the for the rest of this calendar year. Uh, we've still got quite a few streets that we need some time where we'll be doing. Uh, chip seals, but just so that you know, that's we'll finish those two blocks or three blocks, and um, that'll probably complete the asphalt overlay for this calendar year. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Chad. Item B is a tourism tax meeting from August 17th, 2016. Councilman Benson isn't present to report. Um, but they did approve uh, funding for the Mudslinger Shootout, um, which is uh, scheduled for uh, this weekend after the fair, so this uh, the last day of the fair. So um, I don't know if either one of us are able to answer any questions from council, but all of those basically that. Right. Okay. Uh, Alva Public Library Committee meeting from. September 6, 2016. Councilman Valencia, do you have a report to share? Yeah, just a few items from that meeting. Uh, Director Hamilton presented the annual report uh, from the library to the board. I think it's something she'll be sharing with uh, uh, city manager and council a little bit later. Uh, talk about some equipment purchases and some uh, repairs that need to be made on some equipment. Uh, went over a STEM grant proposal that she's working on with a couple of other entities. Uh, and Sandra did meet with me today uh, about your report. Uh, that will be a agenda item at the next council um, meeting for her report to the council. Okay. Does council have any questions for Mr. Valencia or Mr. Dunham? Thank you, Steve. 
Uh, item D is the Alvin Marine Authority meeting from September 6, 2016. Um, all I know is what was on the agenda. Uh, I was not able to attend that meeting today. Um, it looks like it was a pretty routine meeting for them. They approved claims and minutes. Um, they listened to a presentation or had scheduled a presentation from the Stevens County Fairground in Duncan. Um, then, then had some dis were planning discussions with preferred design complex designs about potential site development. Um, they did have discussion, and I don't know that there's any action on it, but any regards to the management, and marketing, and operations of the facilities was what was agended to be talked about today. Any questions regarding the Alvarino Authority? Thank you. Uh, item E. Finance Committee report from September 6. Councilman Miller. Finance Committee met uh, prior to this meeting. We had a lengthy agenda of things that we went over. Um, we had the typical review of purchase orders and claims, cash and investment balances. Then we looked at some utility billing issues and, and corrections that have been made in the last uh, couple of months now that the new meters have been installed. And we've had our first full month of uh, reading those along with getting the software updates completely taken care of. And so that, that, that system is now working uh, as it's intended. Uh, we looked at water rates for governmental and industrial entities, <coughs> and the, uh, which would include schools, uh, and, and we'll be implementing that shortly. Um, we looked at the audit proposals, um, the one that we have a recommendation for uh, this evening. And then we are talking about uh, moving uh, to electronic delivery of our uh, council handbooks. Uh, there's a lot of time and, and money and paper involved in, in creating these books. Uh, so we're trying to find an alternative method of, of providing that to council members that may save us some money. So uh, Joe Don will keep, keep working on that. Other than that, uh, we have no other items on the agenda. So anybody's got questions? Council, have any questions for Mr. Miller? Thank you, Wes. Uh, item F is the mayor's report. I uh, want to uh, acknowledge the work that was completed yesterday by uh, uh, several of our citizens. Mr. Warfield, thank you for your help yesterday with the Labor Day work, work day. We did have uh, between uh, 15 and 20. Um, members of the community come together and, and help clean up some of our less attractive properties in town. I know that we had um, also uh, folks working, uh, doing some work at the cemetery, um, downtown square, um, getting weeds out of cracks and stuff like that. And we uh, uh, had six different uh, properties that were overgrown that uh, uh, volunteers kind of came together and helped get those uh, knocked down anyway. Um, there are still um, concerns that I have and many council, I think, I think many council members have, at least some, um, regarding some of the properties in town that uh, we uh, need to be keeping an eye on those both as property owners and as, as council members to make sure that we're not letting our city um, look, you know, run down uh, as we try to attract economic development and other opportunities to our community. Um, we, uh, so I, I really appreciate the, the work that uh, folks provided. We had, we had people retired from the college and other professions and we had, you know, I think our youngest was a 10 year old helping out. So um, it was a, a good group of volunteers. Northwestern softball players were helping. Um, and uh, so we got, uh, we made a dent in uh, some of that stuff. Just uh, remind everybody that uh, there's a lot going on in Alva for the next six, eight weeks um, with uh, the county fair, the mud run, the, um, car show, Northwestern homecoming. I think uh, there's going to be an Oktoberfest downtown here, so we're going to have a, a lot of different activities going on downtown. And then uh, uh, Goldbug homecoming will be in the middle of October as well. So um, 
that's uh, put our best foot forward as we have visitors and, and everything else. So that concludes my report. Any questions? Business manager's report, Mr. Dunham. Well, first I'd like to report that um, we do have a special planning uh, commission meeting scheduled for September 8th at 6 o'clock here at the Council Chambers, uh, where it will be discussed about the in Integris Medical Center Alva Clinic permit application. Um, when the meeting was scheduled and the agendas were sent out, we did not have answers for uh, the questions that had been posed to Integris. When I got into the office this morning, we, I did have an email that has been forwarded to all the from Integris with answers to those questions or their answers to the questions, and I forwarded that to all the planning commission members this morning. Um, the Alva Recreation Board is currently seeking bids for mowing and maintenance of the softball and baseball pods. Uh, this was authorized by the ARC Board in July, and bids were advertised in the local paper both in July 21st and 28th, August 21st and 28th. Uh, we will be opening those bids uh, on Friday. We are advertising now for uh, concession operations out at the rec center. Um, the rec center board approved that um, at their last meeting. Uh, the advertisement will ran on September 4th. We'll run again on the 11th, and bid opening is the 23rd. Uh, staff's currently preparing bid documents for, and specifications for the construction of the foundation and ramps for the recently purchased tea hangers. Um, these tea hangers are slated to be constructed, delivered and constructed in December of this year. Um, we currently have oh, uh, our paramedic, you know, full and part-time uh, EMT basic positions open. We are searching for a sanitation worker one and an auto mechanic. Uh, upcoming meetings. Uh, of course, we got the you got a scheduled board of adjustment meeting on the twelfth. We've got a airport board meeting on the twelfth. Cemetery board meeting on the fourteenth. I will remind council that I guess both the mayor and I will be gone September 13th through the 16th for the OML annual conference. Um, had a couple of uh, employees really stand out over the past, uh, or since the last meeting, they had some pretty good recognition. Uh, Fire Marshal Miller has been. Um, asked to serve on, a, on the uh, Oklahoma Fire Marshals Association Board um, in which he is going to be serving a, uh, a three-year term. Um, so we, he's going to be serving on that board. Uh, it's, it's a good way for him to um, Get further education and get further exposure over the over uh, fire issues and uh, codes that would benefit the city of Alva. Um, our cleat, our uh, one of our uh, drug dog handlers, Pat Holly, uh, has become a cleat canine evaluator. Um, on on this, he's uh, he's he's now a certified Oklahoma. Uh, he's now able to certify Oklahoma canine teams, uh, and um, as provided for by the statute. Um, with this, it's his his uh, certification is going to be able to save the city of Alva monies because we're not going to have to send. Our other our our canine teams away to be certified and recertified, and plus we'll uh, hopefully maybe bring in a little additional sales tax and holding cleat certifications here is what we're hoping to be able to do. Uh, so we'd be able to bring in other cleat teams and certify them, uh, canine teams and certify them. 
So I'd certainly like to recognize those two employees for going above and beyond uh, what's outlined in their job description. Uh, and Mayor, that would be, Council, that would be all I would have to report, and I'd be happy to try to answer any questions. Does the Council have any questions for Mr. Dunham? Sure, can you confirm the Planning Commission date? That's Friday the 9th. The, no. Thursday the 8th. Thursday the 8th. Okay. Yeah, no, it is Thursday the 8th at 6 o'clock. Mr. Winston. Chair Don, uh, noticed in your manager's report that the uh, recreation center is uh, outsourcing now mowing and maintenance and concession things that are usually done by existing staff. What was the rationale for the rec board choosing to do that? Um, hopefully to be able to um, save on some cost, uh, have better fields. Uh, don't know that we're going to get any applications in at this time or any bids in at this time. Uh, have not received any to date for either one of those. Um, but the, the main thing is to try to improve the fields that we've got. Uh, we don't have the equipment that it takes to uh, maintain some of the fields to the level that the rec board would like to see them maintained. Um, and we felt as if right now if we could contract that out it would be less expensive than trying to purchase all the equipment and the, hiring the additional manpower to operate that to maintain those, to build those fields to the level that the citizens have asked for and the rec board would like to see them maintained at. I know there's a... For the, yeah, for the concession stand last year, if you look at what we bought versus just the supplies we purchased versus the sales we had, there might have been $2,000 sales over cost of goods. Uh, we paid well more than that in just uh, salaries to operate the concession stand. Now, if it if it we if we do not get any um, bids in to operate those, those that facility or operate the concessions, then we will have to look at repricing our goods so that we are covering our costs uh, plus providing a little bit toward the operations of the facilities. Any other questions from the council? Thank you, Joe Don. Item 7 is discussion and action to engage Angel, Johnston, and Blazing Game PC to conduct the fiscal year 2015-2016 City of Alva and Alva Trust Authority audits for an amount not to exceed $19,850. Joe Don. Well, uh, we did advertise for bids. Uh, well, staff was first notified in July by Pat Carroll that they would no longer be able to perform our annual audit that we just outgrown them. Um, we did advertise, uh, staff opened uh, RFPs on the 6th, um, met with the finance committee via emails and phone calls, and then again today to determine uh, lowest and best cost. We did look at a five-year cost for the, um, for the audit team to come to Alva and Angel, Johnston and Blassingham were the cheapest um, at a five-year cost of $100,000. Uh, they were the only firm that would that price their audit as a sole price. For example, their, their bid for annual, right, the annual bid this year, $19,850. Um, others would bid in, would bid, um, 
Okay, uh, there was a fair amount of still water, FSW and B. They were $15,950 for the audit, and then they estimated $1,700 for travel. Uh, we had estimated travel on nearly everything other than, uh, well, well, on the lowest bids up to uh, Angel, Johnston, and Blassingham. Uh, I felt that they, and the committee felt that that would give us a firm fixed rate for the next five years uh, that we could hold them to. Now, we will have to sign an audit engagement letter every year. One council cannot bind another council. So if for some reason this doesn't work out with us in this audit firm, um, or they come back and try to raise prices, we do have the option next year to rebid it and go out again and search for a different audit team. But right now, this team would be the lowest five-year five -year cost. Uh, typically, I mean, our last auditors we had for 15, at least. So it's not, a, it's not something we, we bid out or search for very often. Angel, and jo Angel Johnson and Blassingham is a very reputable firm. They do come highly recommended by all of their references and uh, our consultants. Does the council have any questions for Mr. Dunham? If not, I'd entertain a motion to engage Johnson, Angel Johnson in placing the NPC for the audits. Make a motion to engage Angel Johnson in placing the NPC to conduct the fiscal year 2015-2016 City of Alvin Alvin Trust Authority audits <coughs> for an amount not to exceed $19,850. I have a motion by Councilman Miller, second by Councilman Valencia, to engage Angel Johnston and Blazing Game PC to conduct the fiscal year 2015-2016 City of Alva and Alva Trust Authority audits for an amount not to exceed $19,850. Is there any further discussion? Please call the vote. Miller? Yes. Valencia? Yes. Hannaford? Yes. Eckhart? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Melton? Yes. Stelling? Yes. We will get the audit engagement letter out. We will get the engagement to them tomorrow so we can get them on our calendar. Get them. We can get on their calendar. Item 8 is discussion and action to authorize the mayor to sign a memorandum of understanding with Northwestern Oklahoma State University to fog for insects. Um, I believe uh, part of, um, if you look at... Uh, we were given the fogger as a gift to the city and with the purpose of using it for the entire community. This memorandum of understanding would allow us to use it northwestern property. And am I hitting that yeah, about right? That's pretty much right. Um, we just felt both the college and us felt like it'd be pretty important just to have some uh, uh, paper trail on this that we are authorized to go up there at their request to, uh, to fog. I believe that uh, actually the first time we did this would have been last Thursday for this weekend. There is a similar uh, memorandum of understanding at the Alva Independent School District, but I have not heard back from them as of yet. Would there be a motion to approve this memorandum or authorize this memorandum of understanding? I make a motion to authorize the mayor to sign the MOU with Northwestern Oklahoma State University to file for insects. Second. I have a motion by Dr. Hannaford and second by Councilman Eckhart to authorize the mayor to sign a memorandum of understanding with Northwestern Oklahoma State University to fog for insects. Is there any further discussion? Please call the vote. Hannaford? Yes. Eckhart? Yes. Miller? Yes. Valencia? Yes. 
Spelling? Yes. Melton? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Item 9, discussion and action on application from Cheryl Diefenbach to withdraw retirement funds from city pension plan in a lump sum. Uh, this is very similar to several others that we have done over the past uh, few weeks, few months. Um, this employee or former employee has asked to have all of her pension, all of the money that, was, uh, that she had contributed uh, on her and that was contributed on her behalf, uh, released to her in lump sum. It is allowed by our plan. Uh, we do have to have council approval uh, before uh, before the action is taken. Uh, this eliminates any financial uh, financial liability that the city would have to this this former employee. Is there a motion to approve this application? I have a motion from Councilman Valencia, seconded by Councilman Fisher, to approve the application from Cheryl Diefenbob to withdraw retirement funds from City Pension Plan in a lump sum. Is there any further discussion? Please call the vote. Valencia? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Melton? Yes. Spelling? Yes. Eckhart? Yes. Hennifer? Yes. Miller? Yes. Item 10 is discussion and action on application from Rocky Fox to withdraw retirement funds from the city pension plan in a lump sum. It's the uh, same thing as with Mrs. Diefenbach. Yes. This is our motion to approve this application. A motion from Dr. Hannaford, second by Councilman Fisher, to authorize or to approve application from Rocky Fox to withdraw retirement funds from City Pension Plan in a lump sum. Is there any further discussion? Please call the vote. Hannaford? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Melton? Yes. Eckhart? Yes. Miller? Yes. Valencia? Yes. Stelling? Yes. Item 11 is remarks and inquiries by citizens. Uh, we will limit public comment to two minutes per speaker. Um, speaker, um, if you have comments, please, or inquiries, please uh, address the podium and, and give us your name. Does anybody care to make public comment this evening? Well, thank you all for being here. Um, item 12 is remarks and inquiries by council members. There being none, we will adjourn the meeting of the Alva City Council.